What is going on, Terror Tribe? This is Nate with Terror Fate Exotics. Sweet Pea is just squalling away. Of course, why not? But didn't film it, but we got the fencing up yesterday for the chicken coop. Uh, today we are going to build a bridge for it. So this is going to be more of a walkway, but a bridge because it goes over water, right? Maybe I don't know. Not a dictionary, but what you see. It's an eight foot by eight foot, eh. It's like eight foot by six foot, somewhere around in that range. Um, pond that I built for the duck and goose, uh, it does have a drain valve so we can clean it out uh, from time to time when it gets gross. Uh, but this is the new run here. There is gonna be some two story stuff, but that'll be for another time. Uh, I just wanna make it a little easier for uh, anyone shutting the coop up at night to be able to cross the water. Um, only one person I know that could walk on water and it's certainly not me. But we're gonna build it here on the shallower side. I'd like to do an arch, but you know, I have materials on hand, so that's what we're gonna use. Don't mind the chicken coop, it is a little messy right now. I gotta clean that out later. Uh, but there is a drop off here, so we're gonna make a walkway as well. Uh, and a little bit of a step on that side too, so that they can easily get over uh, the bridge when they need to. Yeah, I know. You have to you haven't figured out what chicken wire is yet. But today we are getting this bridge taken care of. It's getting too close to Christmas. We gotta get this done fast. Today's supposed to be one of the only nice days. Luckily we've had two days without rain. So yesterday we were able to get this up and today we are going to get this bridge up and a couple other things done. This bridge is going to be uh, six foot long by two foot wide. You know, just enough for a footpath for us to walk along the side of it. First thing I'm gonna to wanna to end up doing is build my supports. Uh, my so supports are going to be the key in all of this. So the first thing here is I've created my template. I've used the base of the table here as where the top of the pond is gonna be. The bottom of the bridge is going to be exactly one foot. So I've laid out this board here, figure out what my bird mouths are going to be. All I'm gonna do here is just measure measure out where, and this will be the start of my template. But I also want an angle here, so I am going to mark out that angle, but then I also wanna transfer that angle down the board. So I've traced out here, transferred it onto this bottom board. Now I can remove this bottom board here, and I can see this is where I want my cut to be. Put our square in, we're gonna match up to the angle and then transfer the line here. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take this board, match it back up to where we drew everything, and I'm gonna run a few screws into it. So from here, we're gonna flip the board over. And what this will do, It'll give us our top angle here. And this will be our template. Now that we got it flipped over, we're gonna go through. And I'm gonna cut my template. So now that we've got that board cut, I'm gonna come back over here, get my template, check the mark. That was just a little off. And I'm gonna cut out the other side now. Come back up here. Check to make sure my angles are good. Looks fantastic. So from here I know I'm good to go ahead and cut this out. The first cut I wanna do is this one here. And then that one. So I only want that area taken out here. Cut this other angle here. And instead of running all the way through with the circular saw, get yourself a, a small sawzall and just match those lines up. There we go. When I come back over here, and I want to match these up. They match perfectly. Woo! Now time to take this measure the remaining part of the six feet. So now what you're gonna wanna do 
is you're gonna wanna mirror this image on the other side. You wanna make sure that your, your overall length is your bottom length, not your top, because it'll be way bigger. So for here, we go back to our measurements, 12 inches to the bottom, get your measurement lined up on this side. You may have to go back through and adjust your angles. Six feet is the end of the table. And then come back through and mirror with the template we already made. So now we have the center and one of the beams cut out. One more center and three more beams. I'll be back. Remember, when using power tools, you always want to be as safe as possible. So that's where you want to bring in your safety glasses. Now we're ready to cut. So I've got all six of the pieces cut that are needed to do the two uh, supports. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and assemble both sides. I'm using a uh, three inch exterior uh, hex head screws. I use these for everything. They're, they're fantastic, at least in my opinion. I'm sure everyone has their own favorite screw. <laughs> All right. Enough of the jokes. One side done. Gee, that's gonna fit perfect. Now the other side. All this material is made uh, just from scrap. A lot of this is from the tear out of the old chicken coop and uh, the aquatic section in the greenhouse. We have our two trusses built. What we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna put in supports. So all you really have to do for supports is just come through, measure the top here. So we have 17 and a half. Double check on the one over here. Perfect. That'll work for both of them. I'm gonna go through, cut out two 17 and a halves, and screw them to both sides. So I'm gonna cut four of them out. So I've got the four cut. I'm just gonna go through. I'm gonna set these right there. And this will help just create, create extra support. The center bracing here. There's one. Repeat it a couple more times and you're all set. So we've got the the two struts assembled. Uh, now we're going to go and dry fit them into the pond and take our measurements for the center. All right, so we've got the two. I know this one's going to be right up against the edge here. So I can go ahead and actually secure this. Start here, measure 24 inches, right on the mummy, and just put one little screw in here to hold it together. And do the same on the other side. The bridge is set, I can go through. I'm going to lay my main supports here on the ends first, get my measurements. Everything should be. Is. So I'm going to cut a bunch of 21, come back, and lay my framing through. Chickens, they'll never learn. So to start, I cut two boards at 21 for the inside, and then I cut two boards at 24 to secure the ends. Those are what I'm going to install first, just to add some extra stability here. And then I'm going to go through the remaining part of the bridge, get my 21 inch measurements, and 
follow through. Working in tight spaces. Got the bridge on. Uh, Sweet Pea's pretty sus, so he's out of here. But we got the supports on now. I'm gonna go through and secure everything up, place some decking on top of it, and uh, we'll try her out. See if she holds my weight at least. All right, so the bridge is done. There it is. We are gonna test this bad boy out. I'm gonna set you guys up over here because this is my only camera. I don't know if I, if I fall and this thing completely breaks into a million pieces, I'm not gonna lose my camera. But all right, let's do this. I mean, it's pretty sturdy. The head clearance isn't the greatest, but I mean it works. Woo! Sweet. Well, there it is. A bridge for the goose pond. So the chickens can actually figure out how to get back across the bridge or back across the pond. How to build a little step area here for the duck and goose same thing on that side but that's for another video hope everyone enjoyed take care gotta go gotta grow <laughs>